Hello YouTube, it's your boy Lung Shot back with you again at Shot Show 2017 and you know I had to hit the KWA booth man this thing seemed twice as big twice as awesome as last year's booth and here we go oh, you already know about KWA that's yeah. good I knew I liked you already <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the, the new stuff that we got? no, what do we have new this year? Like that. Yeah. And it's gonna come so, so go, I want to go back to what you just said. It has a one piece upper, mm -hmm. so it splits. The gearbox is gonna split. No, no it's not from what I'm aware of. So if the gearbox is gonna split, it's just a one piece upper receiver, right? Doesn't need a gearbox. The gearbox. Does that mean this is all one, or no. the no, upper the, part uh, of the yeah. internal and the external? On okay. On this gun here. This upper. Uh huh. Okay, here, we'll do this one. There's a little pin right here. Yeah. This rail actually comes off. Okay. On the new one, the upper with this rail is all, all one molded one. piece. It's okay. all one solid piece. Excellent. It's, it makes nice. it stronger, makes it a little bit more durable. Okay. So whenever you mount something on here, it stays it stays stable. Are all KWAs like that? Like this one? Yeah. Currently, yes. Oh. Unless it's a gas blowback. The gas guns are all one piece, but all of your standard, your electric ones, all have this little rail on top. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. I've been taking my gun apart the whole time. I never noticed that pin. I was like, Yeah, there's what? a little pin right here. If you pop that pin out, then this rail, it slides back a little bit, and then you take it off. So when you put it in like this, it has a little latch at the back. Mm -hmm. It goes in, and it locks in place, and you put that pin so that you can't move it out. Okay. But now they're all going to be one, mm -hmm. one piece. Just like um, when you nice. break this gun open, you, you jackknife it. Yeah. Okay. The ones with the solid pieces, they're gonna slide forward. Okay. Because they have a one piece hop up instead yeah. of a two piece. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So I want to give you any in inaccurate information, so <laughs> call the tech over here. Um, so yeah, so it's gonna have like the hex like I said, you can change the FPS from about 310 to 400. Um, it's gonna come with two bags. Um, for the RM41, we also have a new mag 2 It's going to be a 30120. So you can change okay. it to be the 30 or 120, which mm -hmm. we throw on the 3060. Is that going to be a PTS, PTS mag? The, uh, the no, ERG one? It's going to be a KWA, KWA mag? Nice. Yeah. Is it going to have that KWA the, body? Or it's yes, a KWA yeah. on the side? Yeah, I'll show you. Exactly yeah. like we'll show you exactly what you did. That's it right there. So you have a switch. So you can do 30 or 120. It'll have the feeder so you can get all your BBs followed through. And it also serves as a cutoff. So mm -hmm. when you run out of ammo, your trigger's dead until you yeah. reload and hit your bolt. Nice. Nice. When is that coming out? The VM 4A1. Uh, uh, first quarter or, April or end of first quarter. So around April. Cool. So that's the only one no, new this year? The ones with from PTS. Did you see all the ones, new ones we got? Yeah, I saw. I didn't. I didn't know. I don't know the new features, but I all did see them. All of them are gonna be gas, except for Centurion Arms. Okay. Uh, Centurion Arms. Uh, Centurion Arms. Centurion Arms. Okay. The electric ones. Um, it has a Centurion Arms rail, pop up sight, uh, PTS grip, EPS stock. Um, yeah. Very nice. Size. Yes. Very nice. Wow, I have to get up. This rail feels awesome. The way it's just connected to it just feels like it's one piece of a gun. This thing feels great if this is it out of the box. Man, you're gonna, you're gonna fall in love with this thing. The weight of it, oh, it's good. It's balanced, it doesn't feel heavy, it feels nice. The purchase on the grip, the details, I love it, it's really good. The, the older sight, Pimon rail, billet cell receiver, and the EPS uh, stock and PTS grips, calcified sugar, 
just the nice little features on it. But this is gas now? Um, or still gas. Yeah. gas. So that'll be out, out in April. This one and this one will be out in September. Man, a shorty CQB gas blowback. This thing feels awesome. The, look at where my fingers are going all the way the wrap around. Damn, this he's just like this oh the speed QB guys are gonna love this thing. This thing is beautiful, feels light. Look at the trigger, look how beefy that is. The details on the body, look at the body. Oh man. September. Yeah, this one has this one's my personal favorite. I just like the look of it. The, the rail's nice. Wow. Got picketivity all the way across, pop up sights. Whoa. It's very nice, smaller stock, and a PTS grip. It's really ergonomic. Nice. Yeah, I like that. The way that. it carries, it the way it looks monolithic. Really like, nice, too. Yeah. nice. And this is the rail that's going to come with it? Yeah. Oh, this is yeah, nice. So this oh, is wow. It's all squared up. Yeah, um, you just drop your thumb right there. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's nice. It's very nice. It carries, you like. This will okay. also have an ambidextrous everything, so you can do it from left to right. Uh, mag mm -hmm. catch, bolt catch, um, mag release, I mean, uh, selector switch, mm -hmm. everything. Wow, I cannot even describe how amazing this thing is. Ambidextrous everything? This thing just blew me away. Uh, you could take off the buttstock with one finger. I couldn't stop playing with this thing. I had to trim down the footage because this thing is so awesome. Man, I know I'm going to get one. I'm going to probably end up doing a review video of this thing sometime next, this year because this thing was off the shelf amazing. No wobble on the rail. This thing so, felt so solid. It was awesome. It felt light. It doesn't feel heavy trademarks everywhere look at the way it just grips onto your hand i'm gonna get one of these bad boys uh my hat's off my hat's off uh, so this is Masada. you probably seen Masada before we're gonna get a black and tan we're only gonna have a gas at first but we'll probably get electric after okay um, you know stock stock moves you know adjustable stock chin rest adjustable chin rest Mm, I have had the pleasure of working on a couple of these before. They are so nice. They come apart with like three pins. These things kick ass. Gas blowback. I, this is one of the first few gas blowbacks that I've had the pleasure of shooting. and This thing is awesome. And now they're going to come out with an AEG version. Man, this is going to be sick. But I really, really did like this. This felt really great in my hands. I like the way the stock just adjusts to you. This is nice. I really enjoyed it. And I, I'm a CQB guy, so I really like the fact that it folds. So this thing is great. This is an AR-15 with the, with the M-Lock rail. This one's already out for PTS. Um, I picked a knee rail. The mega on arm. Side. Yeah. Uh, PTS grip, so it's nice. Similar to the CQB, but this those is the full rail. length one. Yeah. That's going to be the small yeah. length one. The only one that's different is the sights and the rail. Um, it, on this one. Okay, but this one's already out. This is available right now. So through PTS, not oh. through us, um, but it'll be out through us in April. So this is the MKM AR15, same as the MKM CQB. The rail is really nice and small look how i'm wrapping my fingers on that honestly i can't tell the difference between the both on the length they they rock they both feel the the same to me they they could serve the same purpose but this one's key mod has different sights but the body's still the same trigger still the same everything rocks uh this one is the ar-10 i think huge the magazine's huge for it it's like a 308 yeah Huge. Nice. Um, a little too heavy for me, but most I'm sure most men will like it. <laughs> uh, pop up, pop up sights. Uh, Picatinny rail all the way across. Filler with style receiver. Scalp's a nice trigger. Uh, PTS grip. EPS stock. It's huge. Um, I like it a lot. I just I can't use something that big. <laughs> yeah, it looks 
really beefy like a monster. It's nice, it's made very well. Solid rail on top. Yeah, all out of it. Very nice. Very is, nice. Is this out right now? That will be out in April. Man, I have to give it up. This thing is a beast. It, do, it does feel a little heavy, but it, it feels a good heavy. It doesn't feel that too heavy. And the, the M-lock rail on it, the way you can just dump anything you want on it, the nice. only one you want on it, monolithic rail, this thing feels solid. It's all like one magazine. Wow. Super Thank nice. You. This thing felt really comfortable. Watch how I'm switching it up. This thing is great. April? So everything's gonna be out in April except for AR the AXTS here. September? And the Centurion. September. Yes. September, September, April. April. April except for Mega that's already out. Yeah. Through PTA. Yeah. Right, cool. um, so this one's new for us. It's a RM41. Similar to the VM41, the new one, it's going to have the one piece rotary hop up. It's going to have the one piece uh, upper receiver. But this one's going to have a quick spring change. So you're going to be able to take out the bottom of the stock. The battery come out, spring will come out, you can put it in whatever spring you want to change to adjust the recoil or the yeah. CS. Wow. Um, so yeah. This is electric. And it has electric, the, but it has the recoil. The recoil rod. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Formerly when is she coming out? April. April? Yeah. That's what I'm going to save up for this yeah. year. A lot of people do like our R4s, A1s already, so like just that quick, quick spring change is going to be like a real yeah. deal breaker there. It is, it is. <laughs> as soon as you said that, I was like, <gasps> really? Really? I've like, seen a couple like, my mind was just blown. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, because to change the spring, it's like yeah. 30 minutes, so hold on. Yeah, like, give me another hour or something. Yeah. Yeah, no, you can be out there just like, hold on. With a go. quick change? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Quick change. It's in the word quick yeah. change. Let's go. Play. Let go. Oh, go. Spring. Yeah, because <laughs> it, it minimizes, like, you don't have to mess with the gears. You yeah. don't have to mess with anything. No yeah. wire, you know, like, yeah. spring out, spring in. Done. Exactly. So it's pretty oh. simple. That's cool. Yeah, the only other new. The, the 226. Um, I saw that. I was holding grip. it. I had to pull it out and yeah. hold it. I was like, oh awesome. shit. It's so comfortable and just so like, nice. easy to use. Um, the Whoa. weight's nice. The grip's nice. Like when is this the, coming out? The real roll stamping that it would on a, a regular right. Uh, I saw, so that's why I pulled it out. I was like, M226. I was like, oh. Yeah. Very similar. Very nice. When is this coming out? That's coming out in April also. April. This is nice. And it's only going to be $10 more than what the old uh, PTS costs. I mean, the uh, 226 costs. I don't know what really? Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. Thank you. I really like this. I really like, I like it. I like that myself. If nice. I were to get one of the pistols, I would probably get that one. Yeah. yeah. My friend has the Mark IV. He just picked that up about mm -hmm. three months back. He says he loves it. Yeah. And I'm all like, oh, it's really nice. It's really but comfortable. The grip's nice too. Does he have the black one or the OD green? Black. Okay. All black. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice too. Awesome. Yeah, so let me know if you have any other questions. What are they doing in there? The shooting range. You can go ahead and try it after they're done. Um, what what, what, what gun is that? That's our RM41, I believe. They have an RM41 or the LM4 in there. So I'm not honestly sure which one's in there at the moment, but they have both of them in there. With a laser in it? They they partnered with laser ammo. Laser ammo. So they with the muzzle brake, they put on the they have a, their laser on there. Um, we have a simulator on there, kind of like a Wii, how a Wii works. Uh huh. Um, and a specific screen for the TV, and it's able to pick I it guess, up. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to do one pass through the back one, then I'll form a line to get inside. Yeah. Thank you. Not a problem. Wow. I got to give it up. KWA's booth was pretty badass this year. It was really nice. It, was, it felt to me to be twice as big as last year's. Maybe because it had the higher ceilings. I don't know. But it was really, really nice. It was well done. Everything was 
well placed. Everything was well coordinated. I have to say it was all done very, very well. They had a lot of good stuff. Com they have a lot of good stuff coming out this year, especially with the fact that they're now going to be able to re release all of PTS stuff through them. No more uh, having to take the scenic route. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be dope. A lot of PTS stuff coming out this year as well. PTS and KWA. But uh, the VM4A, VM4A1, I think that's what it was called. Wow. Corkscrew, gearbox, hex key, changing up the FPS. That's pretty nice. The quick spring change on the RM4A1. That's nice too. The the cast blowback stuff from PTS's lineup, that's, oh man, the Raiden, that's just going to be disgustingly awesome. So I'm probably going to get one of those. I, I know me, I, I'm just going to be so bad about it. I've been waiting to get a gas blowback for a good while. I was talking to Tony in the booth about it later on towards the end before I cut the video, but yeah, I, I really, really want to get a gas blowback and I think this is the year to do it, so... It's going to probably be that Raiden, ambidextrous, everything. That was awesome. And, uh, yeah. Got to give a shout out to Airsoftology. Airsoftology, Jonathan. Um, I look at a lot of his videos, and uh, I caught him. I caught him slipping here at SHOT Show. That was fun. That was super fun. But, um, what's going to call it? I saw a video where, where someone asked him, What's up with KWA and Shotgun? And I had to say when I was watching that video, I was 100% in tow with the, the the person asking the question. I was like, oh shit, you know, like when is KWA gonna make a Shotgun? That would be freaking awesome. That would be, that would be badass, you know, like KWA stepping it up. And uh, I, I, I had, I don't know if you guys noticed the more in different clothes on some footage than I am in other footage and that's because I came back the next day I was checking out the footage of my first day and I, I felt it wasn't that good I had to come back and reshoot it up again and get it done right because I, I really enjoyed the booth I, I felt I had to do it justice you know so uh, <clears throat> the next day I was there and I asked Tony because I had a I forgot to ask him today while in the booth but I asked him uh I asked them, when is KWA or is KWA thinking of making a shotgun? And he told me that KWA has made a shotgun. Now, let me, let me just repeat that one more time. And listen closely as I say it. KWA has made a shotgun. As in one. As in like a prototype status. You know, like... One of a kind in some glass case somewhere, manufacturing plant probably in Taiwan. But yeah, you know they have a a as in one shotgun. He told me if it has to be uh, resembled to anything, the closest thing it probably looked at, look at like or at is um, a Mossberg 500. Which is, is pretty nice, you know. The Mossberg 500s are pretty, really, pretty nice, actually. I, I would have hoped he would have said the 590, because that one's like, you could, that's kind of like the high kappa, if you would, you know, version versus the 500. That they have a shitload of proprietary parts for the 590, like a shitload of aftermarket parts. And if they would make one of one to one spec of the 590, man, that would be dope. It's almost as good as the 870. Not too many uh, parts for the real steel fit on the TM870, but I've seen a lot of good, like, a lot of good pictures of people souping up the gun with, like, really nice stuff. And, yeah, um, it would be bad. It would be bad to the ass if they made one one-to-one -one spec of the of the 590 but that's on KWA if they want to do it I hope they do I hope they step it up because you know Crytek just announced teaming up with Foster if they make that 
that gun they're, they're planning on making, that's going to be pretty badass. That's going to be a pretty badass shotgun. Pretty amazing. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for sitting here. For the, I, I really, really tried to trim down as much as I could. It's taking me a lot of time to edit this video. Uh, with all the rain at my throat, I think I got it sick, you know, so that's why my voice changes as the video goes through, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Always, as always, play with honor, play hard, and don't forget to call your hits.